Hello young artists! Today I'm going to show you how to make your own collagraph prints using things that you can hopefully find at home. Okay, let's get started. What you will need and hopefully have first is a bunch of packages. Boxes for cereals or snacks like this. Um, I took the packages I found and I cut them up into smaller pieces. I'll put these to the side. And you will also need scissors, glue, uh, any kind of glue, whatever sticks, crayons. The best kind of crayons will be broken and naked, so take the paper off the crayon. And lastly, you will need some paper to complete your prints. It can be any kind of paper, whatever works. Okay, let's get started. So I have my base, and I think the hardest thing to begin in artwork is coming up with an idea. So I used my drawing that I grabbed from a tutorial, so I drew this just a little bit ago. And I came up with a few ideas to make my artwork, to make my collagraph. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it abstract and just use kind of pieces, or if I could do a, um, a simpler shaped Pikachu, or I could just do Pikachu's face, or I could try to do the actual drawing the way it looks. So here are my ideas. I think I might go with the easy shaped Pikachu just to start with. Um, I think it would be pretty fun. I'm going to start by gathering my supplies right away. I'll just need my base, which is the bottom surface for my artwork, and a few pieces of the packages for the pieces I'll cut out. So I'll start with the biggest shape. I'm going to go with the Pikachu's body. And I'll start out, I don't want to draw it in the middle because um, it'll be easier to cut out if I just do it on the side. Well, I don't really like that, so I will kind of redraw it again. Does that look like a good body? Okay, that's good enough. Now I'll draw all the other little pieces for my Pikachu using my drawing example and I'll cut them out and put them put them together. Once I have all my pieces cut out, I am going to start gluing it. You can glue as you go or you can um, wait like I did and glue at the end. So I'm going to have to move my pieces and start gluing it. Okay, remember to hold down your glue piece until it sticks. So I always like to do the 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, blast off! You might need more than 10 seconds. Probably 20, but whatever makes it stick. I have glued all the pieces I needed to glue onto my project. Now I just need to make, uh, now I just need to make sure it dries before I do my crayon print rubbing, so it'll take maybe 10 minutes. Um, I accidentally flipped some of my cardboard the other way and that's okay. And you can see I layered some pieces and I even added some extra pieces I had to the background. And I think this looks pretty good and I'm excited to try to uh, print it soon. So let's wait for it to dry. The glue has dried on my Pikachu. And while I was waiting for it to dry, I got some inspiration on my abstract one to add some shapes inside the shapes. And I even took a hot glue gun and put some dots of glue to add some more texture. So we'll see how that one looks also. 
um, yeah, I, I'm pretty excited to test that out. But right now, Pikachu needs to be tested out. I have my paper that I'm going to use to print with and my naked crayon. I'm kind of sad because I have this big box of brand new crayons and I've been breaking the crayons and taking the paper off just to get these um, these ones for texture rubbing. But that's okay, it's for a good cause. Okay, so I'm going to take my paper. This is gonna be my test one, I'm just using lined paper. And you can set it on top and try to hold it or if you have tape, you should use some tape because it can be a little bit uh, moving. It can move. So I'm just going to put a little piece of tape on here. Hopefully it doesn't rip my paper. Just to keep it in place. And I will take my crayon on the side. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see how this works out. And rub all around my texture plate. Okay, I'll take that off, take the tape off, hopefully it doesn't rip the paper, and I can compare the Colograph texture plate to my actual crayon rubbing print, and I really like how it turned out. This is actually pretty fun. Here's all of my prints that I've made so far, I probably want to do more of my Pikachu. This is using the side of a crayon. This one I just used the point of a crayon to see how that would turn out. And this one I used a colored pencil. I didn't color very neatly, but you can still see the texture behind it. Um, now you can also see how this one turned out compared to how it was before. This is after I added a little, a little more pieces and a few dots. So good luck everyone, have fun and enjoy making art. Bye!